Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to share with you an interesting new sample library called Noir of a gorgeous nine-foot Yamaha Concert Grand Piano. It's going to be released in a couple of days or as you are watching this video. This is a really interesting product, I think you'll agree, because it contains both a conventional and a felt grand piano, plus some crazy effects that we've never seen before on a piano library. Full disclosure then, I did get a free copy of this software, but it's not a sponsored video and all of the opinions expressed are my own. Now then, I like to have a theme for all of my demos, so ask yourself who is the most famous Yamaha endorsed artist in the world? Okay, I'll give you a clue. Does the name Reginald Kenneth Dwight mean anything to you? Elton John, of course, and you may have even seen that in the title. I'm not sure how we'll title this video just yet. But yes, that's going to be the theme for today's performances. It will be a long video. This is a deep instrument and we have a lot of ground to cover. So settle down and I hope you enjoy the sound of the piano and my playing. Let's get started. So this is the basic sound of the Noir Yamaha Grand Piano. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say Yamaha, but this is a yeah, sample library of a fabulous nine-foot Yamaha Concert Grand Piano. Forget the exact model designation, so I'll fill you in with those informations a bit later on. In the beginning, the very first performance before we change to this camera angle, I played you the sound of the Noir Pure Piano, but with the very interesting particle effects engine enabled, which is doing those string arpeggio sounds in the background. Uh, we'll come to that a bit later on in, in the video as well, but I just want to play for you now the uh, most basic piano sounds this one has to offer. You're actually getting two pianos for your money here. You are getting the Pure version, which we have here, Tell you more about the piano and this uh, render of the recording studio a bit later. I'll share with you some photographs about how this piano was sampled. But you get two for the money. You get this basic conventional Yamaha grand piano sound, but you also get a rather nice unicorder style felt grand piano. Both of these, I do believe, are included in the same product. So you're getting two for the price of one, and you can morph between them exactly how you like. Plus this rather interesting particles uh, synthesis engine, which gives you some really crazy sounds way outside what you'd normally get from a grand piano library. 
Maybe I should explain about my setup here. In the beginning, I was using my, which is over there right now, the Modi X, because it's got one extra octave of keys. Now I've switched to this uh, A49. It's also got a really nice key bed, just 49 keys, unfortunately, but this one does allow me to control the features of the piano here using the complete software. I can step up and down through the presets, for example, and tweak some of the sounds using the controls here. So let's just see what we can basically do with this. Uh... On the front page here, we have a few controls. I'm gonna adjust the color of the sound, darken it down. It's very delicate now. Really nice, or brighten it up. I liked it down there actually, just tame it a little bit. Go really mellow. Hmm, sweet. Let's put it back to the middle, then we have tonal shift. Interesting. Dynamics. You can see how I shift the control here. It's automatically mapped to these parameters here. You can also see it at the top. Dynamics. It just, is it doing some compression, I guess? Mega dynamic. Here, super fat. Wow, really rich sound. And I can adjust the reverb here on and off and the amount. There we go. Very quickly get into some very strange territory. The delay. engine at least the delay is from the replica XT product they have just amazing sounds at least through my headphones I hope you're hearing that as well I feel I'm not really able to do it justice with this 49 but uh, I will revisit this plug-in when we get a larger controller keyboard I can tell you some little news here. I have one on the way incoming here. Not 88, but 73. Some of you that follow the channel might have an idea what's incoming. So we'll play this instrument again. Wow, we've really got some interesting stuff here going on with just a few tweaks of the knobs here. Wonderful.
this is a nice basis to explore some of the settings and the configurations we can do on this one then. And we're just going to brush the surface today. There are very, very many. This video would go on for ages, and it probably already is, if I was to go into every single setting we can tweak. Let's go into this uh, piano fork option here. We can wind up the release samples, the pedal resonance, overtones. Let's whack all of these up so you can hear some of the effects. Noises, mechanical, if you like that kind of thing, which I do. We can wind those up a little bit as well. <laughs> Tonal depth, velocity pedal, you can tweak this to your heart's content. I think we should probably just uh, reset that a little bit. Then we're going to go on to the next page, which is your effects settings. What do we have here? I can see EQ down there. We're not going to dig into these today. A nice compressor here we can just play around with. That's very nice on pianos. Various different algorithms for your compression as well. This is pop piano. super compressed there i like it stereo image styles we have here these are background noises i think a lot of this i recognize from unicorder all of these characteristics characteristics of the piano somewhat similar but perhaps amped up a little bit we can adjust the sound of the pianist as well if we like let's whack that up for you You're hearing my own bench creaking, but I can also hear the creaking of the virtual pianist in the studio there. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Maybe I should do a reset once more. So yeah, lots of things you can adjust there. This is an interesting page. Not quite understanding what this particles engine is. Uh, by the way, I haven't got a manual for this and I've spent a couple of hours with it this morning. So we're exploring and discovering this one together. I don't know much about it. We'll have to revisit this video later after the manual has been published. We're still using a pre-release candidate of the software. No manual has been made available to me. So I'm just figuring this out by looking at the interface. But let's switch on the particle engine. So you might think this is just an arpeggiator, and I think it is somewhat of an arpeggiator. But I think it's doing some, my guess, and only a guess, is some kind of granular synthesis as well, because you're actually able to get some, let's see if I can find something here to illustrate that. It's even getting... I'll play you some of the presets later that use just these. I'm looking for... You hear that? I can adjust the... <laughs> so if you want to make a pad from your piano, you can do that. There's one here. It's actually seeing if I can... High chords, high chimes? I'd imagine this thing is the... perfect tool for a cinematic movie soundtrack composer, that kind of thing. And the final tab we have here is this one here, where I can add all sorts of reverbs, convolution reverb. See, there was two different uh, engines here, convolution or algorithmic. I can tweak the, yeah, 
the type of reverb, I can see plates, rooms, halls, all sorts of things, emulations of old classic digital effects units I can see there as well. And then we have the replica delay as well, which also has a bunch of different sound engine options, modern, modern, yeah. There's a lot of depth here. This thing could keep you busy for weeks. I'm sure it will keep me busy for weeks as well. to share with you now some information I got from Native Instruments about how this piano sample library came to be. Okay, so I can confirm now after reading a bit of information I got from Native Instruments that this is a sample library of a Yamaha CFX nine foot concert grand piano. This is interesting. This is the same CFX that you get on the Yamaha Modi X and the CP that we recently tested, but this one does sound remarkably different. Of course, it's all to do with how it's mic'd up, but also I can tell you that this is the personal piano of Nils Fromm. He's a, a very well accomplished and talented musician. Go check out some of his work, but this is his personal piano that's been tuned, tweaked and customized to his own requirements and specifications. So it's a very special and unique sounding Yamaha CFX. And it's been recorded at the legendary Funk House Studios in I believe it's Berlin. Now, on the pictures then, you can see, wow, what an elaborate recording setup here. Look at all those microphones. That's just incredible. And what a beautiful piano. The uh, recording console here then used to capture all of the different microphone channels and some of the processing gear that they used here in the studio. There you see a beautiful shot. What a massive and long grand piano that is and you can see the beautiful room in which they've recorded it with some of that lovely is it acoustic treatment on the wall but it looks really beautiful this felt piano. Now we are in the noir felt category here. Just playing some stuff at random. So a felt piano then. We heard this on Unicorder and it's all the range in cinematic soundtrack compositions these days. It's when you put a strip of felt between the hammers and the strings and you get this very delicate.
beautiful. Let me just scroll through a couple of presets here at random. In the felt, oh, some of these presets have like a background noise, rain or a turntable record scratch sound. Like the crackles you get on a record, you know. This one has some interesting ambience, just room ambience, things like that. Very compressed. This one's called Right in Front. I just want to explore together with you some of these particles presets. They're very, very interesting. Don't know exactly how it works, but just by playing some of the presets, you and I will get an idea of the capabilities of this and the kind of sounds that you can get. So I'm just going to step through. We'll do half a dozen of them together right now. See what kind of Elton Johnny inspirations, uh, improvisations we can do. <laughs> what did I say? Elton John styled improvisations. <laughs> Nice graphic here showing the notes as they're being triggered in some kind of spacey cloud. Step through these quite quickly, I think. Get like a pad on the end. <laughs> Just a pure pad. You can see we're gonna. Okay, my camera stopped recording. It reached the maximum recording time of 29 minutes. Thank you so much, Canon. I'm not sure what exactly we missed in my presentation. Let me play a few of the last presets I played just in case I didn't get it on the tape. Just some interesting uh, particle effects I wanted to demonstrate. A mega bright piano combined with this really interesting A melodic delay. Oh, yeah, 
heutige Naht. So this is a lot more than just a sampled piano. I'm sure you're appreciating that now. Sounds heavenly. Okay, I just wanted to round off by doing a few random noir felt particle presets. So uh, let's see, what Elton songs do I have left? I think I've done most of them now, the ones I can. Let's do a bit more of this one. idea what key I'm in. Oh yeah. Some really interesting rhythmic effects here as you can hear. Okay, that's just a little teaser of some of these particle engine sounds with the felt piano. We have many more presets to explore. But I suggest we do that on a separate video.
Did you make it this far? Superb, great job. Thank you ever so much and let me know in the comments. I'll give you a heart in return. Okay, I've got a clarification on some of those points from Native Instruments. Yes, both of those pianos will be included, the conventional Yamaha and the felt version, and it's going to cost 149 euros, probably the same in dollars, which I think is pretty reasonable actually. And here's some info they gave me about the particle engines. To help spark new creative ideas, Noir incorporates an innovative particle engine that automatically generates clouds of pulsating, swirling, harmonic elements based on what users play. This engine instantly adds motion to parts and pushes players to explore new possibilities. Yes, that really cleared that up. Thank you very much. Now we know. Perhaps you have some feedback, thoughts or questions, put them in the comments because I will do a follow up video once I get my weighted keyboard controller that's on its way. Stay tuned for that. That will be an interesting unboxing as well. As always, thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing and leaving comments. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.